Bro, bro, and bro again. Look, my bad I'm so late with this situation, but this situation pissed me off, bro. Let me tell you about my night, about watching this Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight, bro. First of all, I got my girl over. We chilling, we chilling, we chilling. You know, chilling. We watching all them lame fights, you know. We wasn't really wanting to watch those fights. We just kept going to, you know, watching YouTube or she was watching, you know, different, we were watching different things until the fight came on, but then some girls started fighting or whatever, and that was a good fight, that was a good fight, I wanted Caitlyn to win, but then after we watching the fight, I was like, dang, the other girl did, you know, she was kind of robbed for her stuff, but that fight was the best fight of the night, okay, I give it to them girls, them girls know how to throw hands, and they knew how to throw headbutts. But look, what we came here to talk about is Mike Tyson. And we came here to talk about YouTube, bro. YouTube, not YouTube, Netflix. Netflix. Good thing I was I didn't buy Netflix. I was using an illegal streaming website. I don't care. I was, okay? But Netflix, bro. Bro, as soon as the Mike Tyson fight came on, bro, it just kept crashing, bro. Over and over. And over again, I barely got to enjoy the fight at all. At all. And then, I'm watching a stripped fight at that. Then when I finally get to watch it, it's the last three rounds. Mike Tyson, he got so, look, he be like so close to hitting, bro. And then he stopped because he want that 20 mil, bro. And then everybody keeps saying, no, it's because he's 60. Bro, you can literally see this man pulling his punches. And I respect Mike Tyson. Yeah, he's trying to pay his bills for his family and this, that, and the other thing. But at the same time, bro, man, that fight pissed it, me off. Pissed me off, bro. And Jake Paul, stop acting like you're a real boxer, bro. You're not a real boxer. You're fighting everybody but a real boxer. And the only real boxer that you did fight, you lost to him. You fighting old MMA stars and this, that, and the other thing. Let me tell you something. MMA and boxing is two different things. Boxing is everything is all in your hands. MMA, you got to do submissions and stuff like that. So, of course, they're not going to be as good as you with your with hands. That's all I'm saying. And then they're not used to holding heavy gloves like that. So, you telling me, bro, man, he need, man, he need some Tank Davis or Ryan Garcia or something like that to actually humble him, bro. And I know that's a different weight class. Well, well, somebody in the heavyweight then. Somebody with, like, Mike Tyson heavyweight. Somebody that's good at boxing like that. You know, because he walking around. And then it's so stupid because, man, let me stop yapping, bro. Let's get let's get straight to this fight. I'm going to put it like this, y'all, because I don't know. I don't want to get copyrighted and this, that, and the other thing. But, bro, look at this, bro. You can literally see. This. When he told him this he was going to face look. Mike Tyson. We are putting the real into real. Bro. Right there. Told him he was going to face Mike Tyson. We bro, Mike had him on the rope and just stopped, bro. Are putting the bro, when Mike, let me tell you something. When Mike old fights, bro, he gets you on the rope. It's over. Real and surreal. And Look. Tyson in his trademark coming out fast. Or how fast he can be at 58, Roy Jones. Look at, look at that. Jake Paul, 12 of 53, 23%. Oh, oh Tyson God, coming out him. aggressively. Tyson, 7 of 34. They keep messing with that mouthpiece. Oh, that left good. hook. Triple left hook oh. by Paul. Oh, Mike's he hurt. Mike Tyson. is hurt. Mike's hurt. That's what all referees do, but oh. Mike Tyson taking punishment here in round three from Paul. Taking bad punishment. Mike does not look good right no, now. Land a beautiful jab with right hand first. Right there. And knock Mike off balance two times. And, and Mike was highly off balance right there. Find out sometime, but in terms of Jake Paul, you're right, Roy. He's he's turning into a boxer. Yeah, oh, good oh. shot. Oh. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That look right there, like real Mike Tyson, bro, he would have been on his Getting back. the left hook. Good he's shot on by his Mike. Back. Paul looked down and come over with overhand right. Wow. Right good. on Tyson's nose. Good shot. A little bit lower. Might have ended the fight, but that was a good shot. Looked like it hurt Mike a little bit. And then you see a left hook right there that was partially blocked by Mike's shoulder. But then Mike landed a left hook on the neck. He hit him clean and hit him on the neck. So but what is left in Iron Mike Tyson? 
Does he have the one knockout left in his arsenal? Fight. I'm a 54-year-old man. Many of my 50-something friends blew up my phone wondering if the old guy could do it for the rest of us. <laughs> Unfortunately, reality yeah. had other ideas and as much of a cliche as it is, it's because it's true. Oh, wow. Tyson. And I know what I, uh, nobody else I hated about the fight, bro. How disrespectful he was to Mike Tyson, bro. Like, Mike Tyson trying to shake his hand. They over there spraying freaking whatever that stink. Whew. They're spraying whatever that stink cologne was, bro. We came here to see a fight. We are men. We don't care about no freaking cologne. Bro, if you stink that bad that you need cologne, bro, that says something about you, bro. Like, come on, bro. We came to see a fight. And that was not a fight, bro. Even the highlights just now didn't show how many times when I was really watching the fight, bro. Mike Tyson pulled so many punches, bro. Bro didn't even get a hundred punches in. He was like, and he was like, "Ooh, let me stop him because if that would have connected, his ass would have been on the can or whatever they call it, the the mat or whatever." That's all I'm saying, bro. But um, ooh, I stop. I just want to. Blow off some steam on that fight, bro. Because that fight aggravated me, bro. I was waiting a long time for that, bro. Almost like six months. And I got fed with that bull crap, bro. I ain't ever watching no Jake Paul match again, bro. And now they saying something about speed when I fight him next. Bro, it's just another cash grab, bro. It's just another this, that, and the other thing. It's all this f football and all this, this, that, and the other thing. That's all it is now, bro. It's just cash grabs, bro. And I'm tired of watching fake sports. I want some real stuff. It feels some real stuff, bro. Like back in the day, bro, you never know who gonna win. Even if it was stripped it back in the day, the fight was so entertaining to watch, bro. That's all I'm saying. But woo, I start. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that dumb stuff for your boy. And I'm gonna head out into the next video. Well, maybe not the next video. I think that's it for the day. But peace out and I love y'all.